Okay, here we are at Mobile World Congress at the Red Fly uh, by Celio Corp booth. Chrétien, good to see you again. We met in uh, Rome, I believe, a few months back. Uh, it wasn't too long ago that you guys released the Red Fly for BlackBerry. How's it been doing so far? Going very well. Better than Windows Mobile? As BlackBerry users like it? Yes. Awesome. Much good news. Better. That's good. Um, what do you got today? Walk us through everything. I know you've been, you, you never stay still, so what are you working on? Okay, so uh, just for your for your viewers, the whole concept about Red Fly is that, you know, the BlackBerry is a powerful platform for doing email, but now with lines of business application and, you know, uh, office products on the BlackBerry, you need an enhancement for keyboard and screen. So that's why we have created a mobile workstation, which is a dumb terminal, no hard drive, no operating system. So it's a keyboard and screen and a 10 hours battery. Without a BlackBerry, it's a useless device, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. but when you connect it to the BlackBerry, it's transforming your BlackBerry into a laptop. So you can do full QWERTY email and use the same keystrokes as on the BlackBerry. So if you do R, you can, do, you can reply to emails. So the operating system is powering the, the device. Correctly. And if you would go to, let's say, something like uh, Documents to go, like a spreadsheet, you could say, okay, let's make a spreadsheet on an 8 inch screen. Yeah, much nicer to look at. You would do that on a Blackberry itself. No, no, yeah, let's fire that screen up again, we can compare the size. Yeah, big difference. Big difference. And now we're moving into, you know, cloud based applications or on device applications like uh, cloud based applications like Salesforce. You can actually you know, run your CRM on your BlackBerry, do your meeting notes, do your updates, using a full screen keyboard. Understood. What's your biggest uh, user, like what's the, what's the profile right now of a typical Redfly user? Typical uh, users are uh, people who do a lot of, a lot of uh, text entry in and output, doing Excel sheets, doing PowerPoints, doing cloud-based applications, government, healthcare, police forces, Salesforce people. Traveling a lot. Traveling a lot, travelers, yeah, and field service engineers who do quote-unquote simple applications but need a form factor that is bigger than a BlackBerry. Understood. So this is the concept. What we have been cre uh, created beyond the Redfly as a mobile companion, we have developed something which we call Moab. Okay. It is a docking station. It has three USB ports for your keyboard, mouse, memory, or connect to your BlackBerry. There's a VGA port. What we do is we connect a full keyboard, like we have here in the demo booth, full screen. Oh, okay. Kiosk-like approach. Yeah. Or mobile workplace. Well, mobile uh, uh, flexible workplace in the office. Yeah. And we have connected it to this BlackBerry. Interesting. And we can operate it in the same way as we have operated with the mobile companion, but using a 20-inch screen or a 30-inch or a 50. And whichever com whichever keyboard you like doesn't matter. Though. Precisely. Interesting. When is, now, when's that become available? It's available. That's available now. Okay. Yes. Works with BlackBerry. Any other platforms, or it's all? It's, it's the same platforms we currently uh, uh, support: it's Windows Mobile and BlackBerry. Okay. And we have other platforms in the works. Price points on that one? On this one, it's about one nine nine US dollar. Okay. Very cool. And then we have another interesting device, which is really cool, which is a real prototype. Okay, so this is a nice first look at this then? This is nice. It looks similar to the companion. Yeah, For absolutely. demo's sake, we have used the existing casing. Okay. But you should see this as a tablet. So think away, no keyboard, just a screen, a tablet screen. Oh, okay, understood. But for the sake of doing, you know, the, the alpha version, we used an existing device. So let me connect the Bolt 9000. Okay. Which is a non touch screen device. Yeah. Yes. But I now can do touch screen. Wow. And go into my emails. The first touch screen Blackberry Bolt, not bad. This is first version, this, uh, this is all I can yeah. show you. And we're working on this to make it more. Understood, you know? but touchscreen interface on. 
So being part of Bormage or, you know, survey people. Yeah, for sure. Very interesting. When do you expect to have that done? A few months out, I guess? Yes. Very good. Okay. I think that covers it. Good Cover. stuff. Uh, thanks a lot, Chris Chen. That's a great update. Lots going on. The guys at Red Fly by Celio Carp.